Hello, hello, hello. It's Friday, which means it's time for the Friday Five. Thank you for tuning in. I'm mixing things up a little bit. You can see my camera here and the tripod. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, I'm actually recording this in a mirror, which is pretty mysterious. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, enough of that. I'm going to give you a list of five things this week, actually, that are related to you. Um, in the time that I spent planning this trip, which was about a year, and the short time that I've actually been on it, which is only about a month, um, I've spoken to a lot of people from actually all over the world about travel. Uh, when you mention you're going to try to go to 24 countries, it tends to be a conversation piece. And one of the weirdest things that I hear from people all the time is that People are jealous. They find out what I'm doing and they're jealous. And I don't get that. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a list of five reasons people have told me they are jealous and why I think it's a load of Bye. Some people have said that they're jealous or, and wish they could travel, but that they can't afford it. My budget is pretty big for this trip, but that's because I plan to travel for a year and to 24 countries. That's a little crazy. <laughs> you don't have to travel that long. Some people travel for two to three weeks. Some people travel for a few months, a year like myself, and some people travel for many years at a time. Uh, so if you look at what you can afford, uh, you probably can do it. You could also look into cutting some things out. That coffee every day, perhaps, or uh, if you smoke, uh, even cable TV. When you travel, and I've already noticed this, uh, you realize there's a lot of things you have back home that are very materialistic and you do not need in your day-to-day -day life. Oh! Some have said that they would love to travel and that they have the money to do it, but that they can't get the time off work. This response is two parts. First, is this a job that you could easily find again when you get back? Uh, and if it's not, and you're scared of losing your job, have you thought of talking to your boss and seeing if you can get a temporary leave of absence? Uh, you might be surprised uh, of what they might say. Three! Another bunch have said that they would love to travel, but it's too dangerous. Now, I've been traveling for about a month now by myself, and Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here, but it's not dangerous. <laughs> I thought it would be, but um, it's actually pretty safe. Knock on wood. Um, it's just about having a smart head on your shoulders and not going looking for trouble. Uh, if, you, if you keep your eyes open and don't leave your stuff all over the place, uh, then you tend to be okay. <laughs> now, if you consider yourself part of the older generation, this one might be for you. A lot have said to me that they'd love to backpack, but they're too old. That one still doesn't work for me. I've been really surprised by some of the people out here on the road. Um, I'm pretty young and limber, but there's some people who've showed me some, showed me some stuff. Uh, I have a pretty small bag comparatively to a lot of people, and I have seen some backpackers with big bags who are like late 30s, 40s, 50s. I even met a couple in their late 60s. Really? That's awesome. Uh, so maybe you can't hike up a mountain, uh, but that's where you have to take the trip and tailor it to uh, your specific needs and abilities. One! And finally, and this is probably my favorite, which is why I've left it to the end, a lot of people say they wish they could travel, but it's a lot of work. Okay, if that's what you're saying, then, I mean, maybe it's a lost cause. But I'm going to give you a second chance and say this. It's so easy. Open a map, throw a pin at it. That's the destination. Uh, go online, buy a ticket. Easy. Um, buy a bag, throw some stuff in it, and show up. <laughs> Uh, travel is one of the least complicated things out there, probably, because there, there's no rules. You just kind of walk around um, and decide what you want to go see. And if you realize you don't like something, then you leave it and go somewhere else. Um, I mean, you make sure you have insurance, and there's little things, obviously, that 
Uh, you have to deal with get your passport and yada, yada, yada. But in the grand scheme of things, um, putting together a trip isn't that hard. I think people make it a lot more complicated, even myself. I have made it a lot more complicated than it probably needed to be. Um, so just do it. All right, well, I guess that's the end of the Friday Five. Um, if you fit in, into any of those categories, and hopefully I didn't offend anyone, but maybe it's a good thing if I do, if it pushes you to get out there. Um, if you want to travel, just go for it. Um, I mean, if you're worried about how much it's going to cost or that you're too old or that it's too hard to plan, I mean, use me as an example, I guess, that if you really want to do it, you just got to go for it. I'm a big fan of just kind of jumping into the deep end and figuring it out as you go. Um, so, I mean, don't hesitate to send me a message. Um, I will help with any question you, you have if I can. And uh, leave comments below. Other people can help. And um, just make it happen for yourself. Travel is one of the best learning experiences you will find. And if I've, if I've learned anything thus far, it's that we have a beautiful world um, for you to discover. So just go for it. Just throw all caution to the wind and just give it a shot and let me know where you end up going or uh, what you end up trying. I really hope through this site um, and through things like the Friday Five, I can encourage people and help them make travel a reality for themselves. And so um, if this does anything for you, I have succeeded. If it's not, I'm going to keep on trying. Um, tune in next Friday for the next Friday Five. I have no idea what it's going to be yet um, or where I'll be. Um, dun, dun, dun. Um, and, and thanks for tuning in. See you soon.